Hello Pregadians, welcome to Prego Coding Classes. This is Amber Roy. This is the first video of the Node.js and MongoDB tutorial series where we will learn what is Node.js and how it works. Keep in mind the series would be free to access but if you feel like donating any sum of amount which would support the channel, feel free to click the donation link below in the description box. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's start the first lesson of our Node.js series. Boy, I'm excited. Anyways, let's see the first point over here. So this is the introduction to our Node.js. And the first point is Node.js is an open source and cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. Now, just keep these points in mind. I'll definitely give you an in-depth one by one. So don't worry. So the first point was open source and cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. The second point is Node.js runs the V8 JavaScript engine, the core of Google Chrome outside the browser. All right. So the third is a Node.js app runs in a single process, right, without creating a new thread for every request. Now let's dive deep into the first point. So the first point was Node.js is an open source and cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. Now questions might arise regarding this point. So let's look at them one by one. So what is open source? Now suppose you made an app and you are an open-minded guy. You want people to use the app, but you also want people to be able to modify your codes and change the app as they want and also redistribute it to whoever they want. Now this phenomenon of app being openly available to everyone is called open source. Example, I use Linux, which is open source. And, there's, and as you see, there are more than hundreds of distributions of Linux available everywhere. Why? Because people can use, modify and redistribute it as they want. Now the second point is Node.js is cross-platform. So what is cross-platform? Now the best way to define it is, we were building Android apps with Android Studio, right? Now can you build an Android app in Android Studio and run it on an iPhone? Answer is no. Now suppose you build an app using certain codes which would allow your app to run on Android as well as Mac. Now that way you are making the app cross-platform, which means an application which is supported on multiple operating systems. The same way Node.js can be run on Linux, Mac and Windows operating systems making it cross-platform. So Node.js runs the V8 JavaScript engine, the core of Google Chrome outside the browser. Now V8 engine, what is that? So V8 engine is a set of codes that are assembled to run a JavaScript on a browser, right? Example, previously we were building an Android chat application through Firebase. Now, regarding this chat app, the tutorial is available in the channel. So do check that out if you haven't till now. Now, you want to chat with your friend and be in contact with him, but you do not have a medium to do that. So you build this chat app to help you do what you were trying to do, that is, be in contact with your friend. Now this app serves you purpose of you and your friend being in contact with each other. The same way the V8 engine serves the purpose of executing JavaScript codes in a browser. Let's see that in action, which might give you a clearer picture. Let me just uh, open my browser for a moment now. So over here we can right click and open inspect element. Uh, it might not show on the screen but I have open inspect elements and over here I am just clicking on console. So under console you can see uh, there are two dash and there is this uh, blink mark over here. So you can write over here. Now I was saying that we can run JavaScript in the browser. so. Let's run some JavaScripts in the browser. Let's run some um, some operations like uh, let's say 2 plus 2. Let's see 
what is the result so it's 4 so 4 minus 2 should also give me 2 now 4 into 2 should also give me 8 now let's see uh, what we can do 4 divided by 2 should give me 2 okay and uh, let's uh, write something let's write console dot log and we can write here prego sorts when i press enter it says prego sorts that's nice now we can also define variables and print that in a console dot log form how let us see so over here we can say constant name equals prego okay okay i'm so sorry uh, let's give it a constant my name equals prego then constant my title equals softs and then we can write console dot log then uh, my name plus my title here are the suggestions and we press enter it says prego softs okay now that is working the javascript codes are working so what does outside the browser mean so we can see we can run codes over here inside the browser now what is outside the browser so let's see that in action also so let us uh, close the browser and open the console over here so this is our console mind i'm uh, using <laughs> linux so this might be different in windows but as i'm using linux so this is how my console looks and over here as i have installed node previously and i won't show how to install node please there are thousands and crores of videos showing you how to install node and uh, how to install npm okay that's a node package manager you can uh, get both of them in their website you can download that you can install install that that's a very easy process i'm not going to show that please i'm not into installing anything so and i'm also sorry so let's write a node over here and when we write node you can see there is this dash that has appeared over here that's the same thing which we had in our browser so over here we can write the same thing like 2 plus 2 so it's writing 4 4 plus uh, 4 minus 2 2 4 into 2 8 4 divided by 2 2 so the operations are working well now let's see if console.log will show something or not so prego softs and yes it shows the prego softs so you might be wondering uh, if i write prego softs just like that will it show or not so let me just write it also so there is an error it cannot show just like that so there is a code for that okay and uh, let's use constants so constant name equal to prego you won't make the same mistake and constant title equals softs and console dot log name plus title prego softs and that is working outside the browser as well so i think i forgot to take the presentation forward so let me just press enter and i have already defined the what is v8 engine and i have already defined what is running outside the browser okay so let's uh, get rid of that and go to the next point that is a node.js app runs in a single process without creating a new thread for every request so a node.js runs in a single process without creating a new thread for every request now how do we define that that's simple suppose i have a restaurant now the job in this restaurant is to take orders 
or the job in any restaurant is to take orders and then bring it to the kitchen take the food and serve it on the table now this job can be done in two ways all right now first uh, let us assume we have number of waiters equal to number of table now in this case your waiters can go to their respective table and take the orders and bring it to the kitchen wait for the order and get to get completed and then bring the food to the respective table if you have not got what i said let me just give a visual um, definition of the thing what i spoke just now let me open my image viewer and that is here let me close my console okay that's my image paint I'm in Linux so this is what I have so suppose as I was saying that the number of waiters equal to number of tables so there are one two three waiters and then one two and three tables okay this side are the waiters uh, on the left and on the right there are tables so the kitchen is right in the middle so what i was saying was in this case your waiters can go to their respective tables and take the order bring it to the kitchen so the waiter one goes to the table then takes the order and goes to the kitchen waiter two does the same thing goes to the table takes the order goes to the kitchen waiter three also does the same thing goes to the table takes the order goes to the kitchen now the fun part is that they are waiting for their respective orders to get completed so they are standing over here without any reason after the order gets completed then the respective waiters take the order to their respective tables so waiter number one goes to table number one waiter number two goes to table number two waiter number three goes to table number three and the order is completed okay this is very time consuming and also resource consuming but suppose you have one waiter to look after seven tables or three tables at once so will the above method work i think not so let us see the second way let's just clear this one um clear and we have one waiter over here we have three tables over here and uh, we have a kitchen over here left one is my waiter tables are on the right the three and the kitchen is on the top so your waiter now keep in mind we have a single waiter that is on the left how do we give him the job so that he can complete everything in a very mannered way so your waiter takes the order from table number one now this is table number one he takes the order from there brings it to the kitchen right here doesn't wait for the order to get completed all right he doesn't wait rather he goes to table number two takes the order brings it to the kitchen doesn't wait for the order again goes to table number three takes the order goes to the kitchen now suppose the chef who is cooking has completed the order for table number two or table number one or table number three anything whichever you consider he has completed now what the waiter does is he doesn't wait for the chef to complete the order for table number one rather whatever the chef has completed suppose the chef has completed table number three table number two table number one he takes that order and brings it to the respective table so in this case i am considering table number three 
So in between, the chef has completed the order for table number one as well. So he brings it to table number one. But in between, table number three has a new order. So the waiter goes to table number three again. He doesn't wait for table number two, mind it. His table number two's order is still getting prepared. So the waiter goes to table number three to take the order. Takes the order, goes to the kitchen. Now he sees that table number two's order is completed. So he takes the order, brings it to table number. Two. So in this way, a single person can do multiple work flawlessly. Or we can say, node runs in a single process without creating multiple threads. Now flawlessly can be termed here as asynchronously. We will talk about it in details when we code. Now this was a short video about node. If you have made it this far, do not leave without liking the video. Also if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. And if you are feeling very generous today, there is a donation link given in the description box. Feel free to donate any amount you want. This will obviously be utilized for the betterment of this channel. So this is it. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video. If you have liked the video, hit the like button, then the subscribe button and then the bell icon.